Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Go High Level. Today in this video, I will show you how to connect LinkedIn lead forms with Go High Level. Now, this is a new feature right now that you can use. So before we get started, you can get a 30 day free trial with our link down below on Go High Level and try out Go High Level for absolutely free for 30 days. Now let's get started. So first of all, what you want to do is you want to go to the here, what you want to do and you want to basically go and switch to sub account. So switch to a sub account right here. It can be any sub account. Um, this is just an example sub account. And what we want to do is we want to go to settings here and from settings, go down below and scroll until you see integrations here. Now we click on the integrations here. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down. And as you can see here, you have connect your locations, LinkedIn account. So you can connect your LinkedIn and not only for lead generation ads, you can do a lot of different things. So let's just click here. And what you want to do is you want to connect it. You want to obviously allow it here. So let's just click allow. And after you allow it right here, we'll need to wait just a little bit. You can also refresh it if you cannot see it. However, as you can see here, we can select the ad accounts right here from this location. Now, as you can see, it's loading up the data right here. So basically, we will need to wait just a little bit until we can see the ad account. As you can see, this is the ad account. And as you can see here, we can set up whether or not this is for all leads or new leads that are coming into the ad. We can just say all leads right here. Now from there, we can click connect here. And uh, obviously this will automatically sync your leads from LinkedIn to your CRM in go high level. Now, obviously once this is done again, just click connect. Now, as you can see, this is what is going to be. You just need to configure field mapping right here. So just click on field mapping right here. And what you want to do is you want to go here. Once you have an ad, we don't have an ad currently, but once you have an ad here, just go and map the first name to the first name, second name to the second name, email to the email. And that's pretty much it. And also you will need to go here and enable it. Now, once you enable it, what you can do with this particular ad or this lead form um, ad is you can go to this section right here. So what you want to do is you want to go back here and you want to go to marketing and uh, not marketing, but automation and then go to workflows. And here we can create a new workflow. So you can create a workflow from scratch. So we can start one from scratch. And um, so the first thing that we can do here is add a new workflow trigger. So this will be a trigger whenever someone goes and submits a lead into an ad, which is a lead form ad, it will go here. And here we can go and we can type in link, LinkedIn lead form submitted. So once LinkedIn lead form is submitted, you can also add a filter here. For example, from a page uh, is and then page, this is the page that it's coming from, we can save trigger. Now once that is submitted, what we can do is we can add also a tag. Once this is submitted, add a tag, a tag will be a LinkedIn, for example, we can add a new tag here if we can, but we can't basically what you want to do is you want to add a LinkedIn tag here. Uh, again, this is just for those of you who don't understand the workflows. Um, just click save action. Now, once the new LinkedIn lead form uh, is submitted, or once a lead comes through the lead form, you can add a tag for that lead. And you can obviously go and uh, yeah, you can do a whole lot of different things. You can create or update opportunity, for example, cre create or update contact. So for example, um, you know, business name, contact source, you can do a lot of different things. Or what you can do is we can go back and add another ones here. Uh, opportunity. So create or update opportunity. This is also one thing that you can do. For example, in the pipeline, you can select the pipeline where you want. Uh, pipeline stage, opportunity name, opportunity source, lead value, status, and stuff like that. So we can obviously save this, but obviously you will need to go and, um, you know, use a pipeline. For example, if you can name a pipeline, LinkedIn pipeline, that would be good. Lead value, you can add a value, for example, contact, uh, custom fields, and then you can add a custom field or cast custom value right here. Whatever you want, again, you can do that on your yourself. Now, after you add that, you can also add a SMS or email. You can send that lead an SMS or email. 
which is really great if you want to go and, for example, if you're doing 50% off or 30% off uh, discount codes, you can send them discount codes this way right here through the email or through the SMS. Again, you can, uh, obviously it depends on your uh, lead form and uh, what your lead form is about, but here it goes basically the name of your, of your uh, message or the whole message, obviously, hey, and then you can add a custom value, full name. You know, you can type in something like, you just get 30% off with our code below. This is obviously if you're getting discounts through the SMS or through these lead form ads. Again, it will depend what, depend, uh, what these lead form ads are for. Uh, but that's pretty much how you can go and connect LinkedIn lead forms and how you can adjust the workflow for your LinkedIn um, leads that are coming from your LinkedIn lead form. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can always comment down below. Uh, you can obviously get a 30 day free trial on go high level with our link down below. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, just you know shoot them down below and we'll see you in the next video.